Hello. As the time for board exam comes near, let's understand how to study computer science for class 12 after ISC has reduced the syllabus. What we are going to see today is how the syllabus has changed after reduction by ISC board, how the mark distribution has changed across chapters. Based upon this, what type of questions you can expect and in what sequence you should study to get maximum marks. Let's start with the syllabus. The syllabus for computer applications is divided into 3 sections, section A, B and C. Section A has 2 subsections, Boolean algebra and computer hardware. Section B has 9 subsections, all on Java as shown, and section C has 3 subsections on inheritance interface and polymorphism, data structures and complexity and big o notation now let's see how the syllabus has been reduced by the board in boolean algebra only chain rule and modus ponens has been removed everything else remains the same in computer hardware there is no change at all so the syllabus for section a is almost the same in section b there is no change in implementation of algorithms or programming in java which is revision of class 11 syllabus in objects in subsection b only scanner class is kept the printer class is removed next in subsection 6 there is no change in primitive values wrapper classes types and casting similarly in next two subsections variables expressions or statement scope section there is no change done here and it remains the same Next in subsection 9 methods objects as arguments is removed remaining is still in syllabus in arrays and strings only change is that string buffer class is removed remaining is still in syllabus there is no change in recursion chapter 2 now we come to section c this is where there is major reduction in inheritance interface and polymorphism there are two subsections first is subsection a on inheritance and polymorphism which remains the same as is the subsection b on interface now remains only in conceptual level that means you need to know only concept of it but no program will come on it in exam next is data structures it also has two parts in part a the circular queue and dq has been removed Also as interface programming is moved here the definition through an interface and multiple implementation by implementing the interface is also removed in part b whole of single linked list section is removed and only the binary tree remains next is the last topic complexity and big o notation this whole topic has been removed here is a rough summary of syllabus reduction which covers all subsections now before we look at marks distribution let's look at how the question paper is structured if you analyze past few year papers you will see this is the typical template that's being followed the question paper has two parts part 1 of 20 marks and part 2 of 50 marks part 1 is compulsory means all questions have to be attempted and there is no choice It has 5 questions on 1 mark, 5 questions on 2 marks and one 5 mark question. Part 2 has 3 sections A, B and C. A has 3 questions of total 10 marks each, but each of these questions is subdivided into 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark, 4 mark or 5 mark questions. Section B has 3 10 mark programming questions and section C has 3 5 mark questions. If you see each of the sections in part 2 has 3 questions and you have a choice to attempt any two of the three. Now let's take a look at approximately how these marks are distributed across these different chapters based upon previous year paper analysis. Let's start with part A which is compulsory section of 20 marks. Here 5 mark questions are from section A. These are typically 1 mark questions. and almost four questions actually comes from boolean algebra 
the questions are around stating and verifying any boolean laws propositional logic and verifying it with truth table then the questions are also on finding the dual pause to swap or reverse conversion or even drawing some logic gates next 9 to 10 mark questions comes from section b it will have around two questions which are two marks each on any of the topics in this section and there is one five mark question which is typically on recursion here you can definitely expect one question on matrix size calculation and two to three other questions on methods constructors and recursion section c holds four to six marks mostly two to three two marks question Here one question is definitely expected on infix to postfix conversion. There used to be a question around complexity but since it is removed and only interface concepts remain you can expect one theory question on interfaces. Now let's take a look at part 2. As we saw part 2 has three subsections which correspond to these same subsections A, B and C. Each of them has three questions. and you have a choice to attempt any two in section a the questions are usually combination questions of both chapters the 10 mark is distributed into questions of 1 2 3 4 and 5 marks the first is four mark question invariably on k maps and one mark question on drawing logic gates for reduced expression there are typically two questions on k map in section a as you see The first option has more marks on boolean algebra so you can expect one question which will have more marks for computer hardware and one which might have a mix of both from boolean algebra other than the first k map question you can expect questions on proving or simplifying any boolean laws writing in pos or swap forms Computer hardware will have questions on adders, encoders, decoders or multiplexers, drawing their truth table or circuit diagrams. It would also have questions on universal gates. In section B, there are 3 programs of 10 marks each and you have to attempt two. The pattern for these questions has remained the same over last 3 years. One program is on different type of numbers. like armstrong number perfect number etc one program is on arrays and one program is on string next in section c there are three questions of five marks each and you have to attempt two one question is on inheritance one question is on data structure implementation using arrays which would be either stack or queue now one question is on binary tree Since a major portion is deleted from here there is a possibility that this year they might move the infix to postfix conversion from part 1 to this section now what to study and in what sequence i would suggest starting with section a first it has 25 marks and has some quick wins which will surely get you marks in boolean algebra start with section b and c first which covers majority of the marks This will cover K maps, SOP and POS forms, Boolean laws, etc. Next is computer hardware. Learn first basic gates and how to make truth table and circuit diagrams as many questions are just to draw the circuit diagram of reduced expression. Next learn about half adders, full adders, encoders, decoders, multiplexers with their diagram as there'll be one question on this. then learn about the universal gates and converting circuits to universal gates last come back to propositional logic learn about well formed formulas different laws converse inverse and contrapositive etc to get a full coverage of this section next comes section c here start with data structures first these are set programs on stack queues and binary trees and if you understand those programs you can get straight marks on this prefix to postfix is also a set of two mark question which you can get over here next you should do inheritance as one question is asked on it in section c this is actually a very simple program and if you understand super and subclass concepts this can be a quick win 
next to study is section b for part 1 do short theory questions from all of these topics one question is expected on recursion which is mostly a reverse question where program is given and they check whether you understand it and can predict the output in part 2 start with number programs practice all different type of number programs like perfect number neon number armstrong number etc then do array programs both single and multi dimensional then there are some string programs they are typically with some character and word manipulation this summarizes the changes mark distribution and your focus areas if you still have any doubt you can reach out to us at simplycoding.in thank you and goodbye